and I know already some will start complaining about the performance. And so what if they can turn it off? They will make up another reason for nagging. But in reality this is one stunning visual design. <laughs> First off, there are terrible bugs, but I don't really want to spend time on them, because in this case it's only the design concept that matters, so let's focus on that. But obviously if MS developers don't polish all those, everything would be made for nothing. And so let's start with the most famous acrylic material, that is nowhere else than on Windows Terminal. But it's also commonly found on the sidebars of many Windows apps. But this design, a part that after a while it starts to feel boring, especially if we sit front of the computer lots of hours, it also carries some great usability issues. For example, the acrylic materials over white surfaces look completely ugly, and very often this ugliness transforms to an annoyance. And even to an actual usability issue, like this maximized terminal over the notepad. Anyway, we're done with the acrylic, so let's move on to mica material and settings is one of the apps that are implementing it already. So what Micah does, is to take the current wallpaper we have, and paint the background of the long-lived windows, like our settings app. Which obviously failed, so let's do this to work. Can you see it now maybe? And we're only in the beginning. Meanwhile on backdrop the opacity is also dropped. And now let me show you why this is so perfect. So Windows 11 have this nice feature. Oops, and I didn't mean the stupid news, that was a misclick. I'm talking about setting a different wallpaper per virtual desktop, that by the way we're still desperately waiting for that in GNOME. So, let's put something way more fancy than this dark background, so Mica material can show off its full glory. Are we good? So now our window here is painted from red to blue, and it's mostly red. But if we move it to the previous workspace, it will be painted from blue to red, and it will be mostly blue. So in every workspace our windows can get a different persona, and the content stays very clear and readable. Unlikely to acrylic material it can be very messy, especially with the backdropping transitions. But we are far from done, and it only gets better from this point. So! Next we can go to colors, that we can set any color we want. But for now we want to set accent color to automatic which means it will try to guess the color from the wallpaper. And after a small freeze the switch will be repainted to red. And if we move the application to another workspace, then the switch will change colors, that together with the different app background color it gives very nice results, and makes each desktop a bit more different than the other. Or maybe not? Hum, let's try on Rika Ultimate Workspace perhaps? Let's see now! And the switch is still red! Awesome? Of course I could video editing that issue and hide it, but I really want to point out that for all those to really work, you just can't have such kind of bugs. Anyway, I just restarted the app, and hopefully the changes will now be correctly applied. Boom, boom boom. The switch is now something like a white yellow, which is Rika's skin color, and I have no idea how it's picking colors. But now it will be transformed to a light blue, with a nice fading effect and back where we started, it will get red again. Basically it's a design very similar to Google's Material U, but it is really more impressive to see it on desktop apps and large screens, rather on phones.